So, it only took a month, but here we are. We I have finally got my hands on the Asus Prime X570 Pro motherboard. And this video is going to be me basically telling you what it's all about and actually installing it into my system. So here we have the motherboard itself. Now this, again, yes, AM4 X570 chipset, so it can handle the new three Ryzen 3000 chips, which honestly I'm not going to get yet. I'm going to wait to see what happens with pricing, but I'm definitely, well, I'm going to get one, just not quite yet. Hold on one second. There we go. Just had to grab that on camera as well. So here we have got, uh, again, yes, AM4, AM4 platform, X570 chipset, suitable for, well, any of the Ryzen CPUs, really, to be honest. Um, includes four DIMM slots uh, and supports the double DIMMs as well, so you can get the maximum of 128 gigabytes of memory on a mainstream platform. Very cool, and up to 3,000, well, actually up to 4,400 megahertz on the memory. Not that that's going to happen, but you know, not for my CPU. Some of the newest, the newer CPUs will be able to do that, but uh, yeah, well, we'll see about that. Also includes two M.2 ports, one of them with a heatsink cover, which is what I'm going to be using. Uh, also included, again, just on the back there was the the back panel with a pre-mounted back plate and a bunch of, well, a bunch of everything really, including some uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2s, which is kind of cool, even though that's, well, what whatever today's name is. And yeah, tons of fan headers uh, on here. There's a surface-mounted power button as well, which I didn't know about until I actually got the thing in my hand, which again is pretty cool. There's a heaps of connectivity on the bottom as well. I think there's six, six SATA ports. Yes, six SATA ports. Uh, we're going over this 3.2 Gen 2 front header as well. There's the surface mounted power button. Tons of fan headers, two RGB headers. And the main reason for part one, which was the uh, the power supply upgrade because this particular motherboard has the, uh, the 8 plus 4 for the CPU power, which is pretty cool. So that's the particular motherboard. And, and now I'm going to get started with building it. Okay, moment of truth time. I'm not scared at all. Okay, it boots. It boots, but uh, now comes the real test. Um, there is no way that this has just, you know, just worked. Hold on, give me a second. Are we up and running? All my drives are there. 32 gigs of RAM are there. CPU is recognized, GPU is recognized, but then again, I still have all the things. Um, oh my god, that worked. So, oh my god, it actually works. Everything's here. You know, that's all the fans are here, all the CPU, memory, blah blah blah, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I am going to play around with this and see if I, see if I can get my previous overclock back, which was 3.8 on all cores. And I did have 3000 megahertz on the memory, which honestly, I might try the memory first. 
because then that was quite a quite a problematic area as many people know so I'm going to give that a go okay so my old overclock works which is uh, 3.8 on all cores which again I kind of expected that to work because it always has I might go see if I can go further than that I don't think I can but I'm gonna try it anyway but the main thing I want to try is the memory overclocking which previously before I was only ever able to get that to run at 3000 but I'm just gonna go straight in with 3200 megahertz and see if this works and I'm going to be honest I'm not I don't think this is gonna work it might it might not then again this is a 3200 megahertz kit but I previously on the B350 board I only ever able even after several BIOS updates I was only ever able to get it to run at 3000 and looks like we're at 3200 so this is further than I've ever got this so let's have a look there we are 3200 megahertz running just like that that's very good oh wait 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 ah uh -huh. see see okay i'm gonna drop it down to 3000 and see if that works okay i dropped the memory down to 3000 now running prime 95 CPU doing its thing, memory also doing its thing at 3000 megahertz. Okay, now that it is up and running, which is which is the important thing today because I actually do have things to do and I need this system up and running, I'm gonna tinker with more of this offline. Well, off camera at least anyway, and but I'm actually very very happy and very surprised at how simple that was. I literally just swapped every component over and it all seemed to work which of course makes for a very happy me so yeah I'm gonna play with more of this off camera and then I might do another update or I might just do some social media updates just to see where I'm up to and yeah catch you next time